Bible says something, I say that you don't qualify to be heard by the body if you have not served in the local church. If you are not qualified for public ministry, if you have not served in the local church. So people who say, oh, I, my, I'm pursuing a ministry. No, the first, first question is, have you been built? Have you served the local church? Because that one is fighting. That one is, that one is, is fighting. You, 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 do, you don't have to you, you don't have to, to be seen or heard. When I say seen or heard, I'm not talking about preaching. I'm talking about getting a place in the body, a place of influence in the body, leadership, where maybe you lead people, okay, if you have not served in the local church. It's very important. So in Genesis 2, 28 verse 22, look at Jacob, that, that prophetic action that Jacob carried out. Uh, 28 verse 22. You will see that this stone I'm talking about became a pillar. This living stone. You see. And go to 21. When he... Okay. Yes. No. Let's... let's okay. Okay. Alright. Go to 16. I want to give you the, 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 the context. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. Yes, continue. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Then Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone, the what? The stone that he had put at his head, set it up as a pillar, and poured oil on top of it. So that stone that Jacob put his head on, now he turned that stone into a pillar. That stone is you and I because we are living stones. But you must become a pillar in the church, in the local body. Can you become a pillar? Yes, come to Galatians 2 9. And you will see human beings who are pillars. When James, Cephas, and John, who seem to be pillars, perceived the grace that had been given to me, they gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship. That we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. So, human beings can be pillars. When we say somebody is a pillar in the family, he's not talk talking about a literal pillar made of concrete. It, it means the person that becomes a very important part, a very vital part of the body, of the family. And so, you don't just have to be a living stone. You are being built to become a pillar in the local church. Before, before you can be a pillar in the universal church. So, the local church too becomes the pillar and the ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3.15. You will say that the church is also called the pillar and the ground. But if I'm delayed, I rise so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God. Which is the church of the living God. The pillar and ground of of the truth. So you see pillars here. So it's also you, the person, you become a pillar in the, in, in the house of God. In other words, you become a force to be reckoned with. That is the destiny of every believer. So, I said that I said there's nothing like CFM, common floor member, in the local church. Nobody should be a common floor member. Nobody should be a regular visitor. You must become a pillar. You must be planted. Become a pillar. We must feel your presence. You cannot become a pillar till you are being built and you are serving. When you are being built and then you are serving, you become a pillar. And look at the final picture, Revelation 3 12. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. You see now? The new Jerusalem. He is talking about your destiny in the city. He said, now you are a pillar, a stone that became a pillar in the local body. Now he will make you a pillar in the temple, in the city. You see the progression? Or you don't see it? Yes, so nobody can just jump from being a living stone to being in the city as a pillar. No, you, you will break scripture. 
you must go through the progression. You must pass to a local church. You see, we might be able to trace you to a particular local church, local body, where you have served, where you have made your mark in terms of service and growth before we can trust you that God has sent you to the body. Otherwise, you have not been sent. You have, you have only launched yourself. And I told you that I said, look at people like Philip and Stephen, who first of all became deacons in Acts chapter 6. Philip, Stephen, they were what, part of the seven. The deacons that were appointed to oversee um, uh, sharing of food. Now, when you move on, you will see Stephen, a man full of faith and power, doing many miracles. He started as a deacon, serving tables in the church. At first, he was a common floor member, a disciple. Then he became a deacon. Now he's doing signs and wonders. Look at Philip. Philip also was serving with Stephen in the local church. Then in Acts chapter 8, the Bible says that the persecution arose and they were scattered. And Philip found himself in Samaria. When they preached the gospel, healed the sick, you know, cast out devils, Philip the deacon, Philip the deacon, the one who was sharing tables, like sharing food, serving tables. Not Philip the apostle, no. The apostle didn't leave Jerusalem. In fact, in Acts 21, when Philip was an evangelist, he said, Philip, one of the seven. His identity was still one of the seven, one of the seven that were chosen as deacons. They served the local church. And because of that service, that service, that service gave them the ticket to sell the entire body. So when he went to Samaria, he was not just serving the church in Jerusalem. Now he was serving the entire body of Christ. But even in Acts 21, he was called Philip. Yes, on the next day, we were Paul's companion. We departed and came to Caesarea and entered the house of Philip the Evangelist, who was one of the seven. Many years later, he was still referred to as one of the seven. Why? You will carve a niche in the local church. Your record should be in the local church. This is why people sometimes have problems with some people who claim that, oh, um, God has sent me to the church, and yet we don't know where they served, who mentored them, their, who their pastor was. He said, oh, I'm just speaking to the body. I have an anointing. No, you are wrong. Timothy was a disciple to begin with. Acts 16, he was a disciple. He proved himself as a disciple. Later, he came to work with Paul. And then, later he became an apostle. So, it's not, the journey is a journey, and everybody must move from being a stone to a pillar. A pillar. So, if you have not served the church, let's say you have been called to release songs to the body. And then, you, you don't serve the church. You have not served the church. You don't, you don't have a, a, a good church-going record. But you have the gift. The gift is grace. It's I, I release the gift to the body. You are out of order. Seriously. You have to first serve the local church. Make your mark there. Become a stone that turns into a pillar before you can become a pillar in the city. The city is about the universal church. 